Hi, Jeff Sultan here at CES, and uh, in our travels we came across the Senyo Eneloop bike that we've uh, profiled before on our site, but we also bumped into David Kabamban, and uh, he's going to tell us a bit more about the bike and also uh, some more stuff on uh, electric vehicles that Senyo's been developing. Hi, David. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Great. Thanks for the opportunity to talk about our bike. As you said, it's the Sanyo Eneloop bicycle. Um, we call it energy looping. And what, what we do is we take energy, our kinetic energy, and we charge the battery with it. So on braking and going downhill, just like on a Prius automobile mm -hmm. or a hybrid automobile, we're able to capture some of that kinetic energy and recharge the battery. We're actually able to increase the, the travel distance by about 18%. So you're going to get about between 36 and 46 miles per charge with this bicycle. Great. Um, and it's also won an award here at CES, hasn't it? Yes, we won the Eco Design and Environmental Product f for um, the CES show for 2010. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, after the recent uh, Senyo Panasonic uh, Alliance, uh, there's been more development in the use of solar power, um, other battery type things. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes. Um, with We are with the Environmental Division for Senyo, and we have developed a solar charging station which is for all electric vehicles. Um, we're going to start rolling some of those out throughout the United States. Uh, we're talking to a number of, of different uh, partner, potential partners about how we can help incorporate bicycle charging, automobile charging. Um, with the addition of solar to a charging appliance, you actually have an ROI. Um, you're able to charge what you need to charge mm -hmm. through the sun and then you're able to sell whatever you're, whenever you're not charging, sell that electricity back to the grid. Terrific. So there's a positive cash, um, there's a positive financial situation mm -hmm. there, which d doesn't exist with just having the standard grid-tied um, charging appliance. Right. Now, can you tell us about uh, where some of your company's batteries actually are, are appearing now? Um, we, Sanyo, uh, works with Ford Motor Company. Mm -hmm. um, Panasonic uh, works with Toyota. So two of the larger manufacturers we're working with on batteries for automobiles. Mm -hmm. um, we are the largest rechargeable battery manufacturer in the world, and so you'll see our batteries in a number of consumer appliances. That's terrific. Now, apart from the batteries on uh, this uh, vehicle, not just a bike, yep. uh, what can you tell us that's special about uh, what makes this uh, bike, uh, the power assistance on it, for one thing, is great? Yeah, one of the things that we've done, um, we've taken, in addition to our battery technology, we've taken our motor technology. What sets our motor apart is we have an internally geared brushless motor. Electric motors like to run at a higher RPM uh, than a wheel turning at mm -hmm. 15 miles an hour. So what we do is we allow the motor itself to run at a higher RPM and we gear it down inside the hub to the wheel speed. So when you're going up a hill, we're always at plus 100 RPM, unlike some products out there where you start to get that bog and it's oh, when you start to go up the hill. Ours doesn't do that. Right, yes. We've, I've ridden it and it is, <laughs> it's yep. a lot of fun. Yeah. We've also yeah. incorporated a patented torque sensing bottom bracket which actually makes it feel like you're riding a standard bicycle the harder or the faster and harder you pedal the faster the bicycle goes mm -hmm. the bicycle is maxed out at 15 to comply with Japanese and European and what most people don't understand is 15 miles an hour for the average consumer is plenty fast it's probably faster than they've ever gone on a standard It'll bicycle be faster than they travel in a car in peak hour traffic yeah, as well, well <laughs> exactly with this particular bike in city traffic, you will beat you will beat the track of across mm -hmm. town without a doubt. Um, any other models uh, in the future? Oh yes, one of the things. Uh, this is the model that we're launching with in one color, in one size. Mm -hmm. um, we also come up with a graphics package that you're able to customize your graphics on your bicycle and basically do that at dealer level, or the consumer can actually do that themselves. Right. We have recently launched the first mass-produced carbon electric bike in Japan. Uh, we probably won't be bringing that to the United States, but it is available in Japan, and we are starting to look at some new new designs right now. And speaking of design, you uh, you're telling me about the the reason for the step through. Yes. Very practical. In in Europe and in Japan, Japan, seventy percent of all bicycles sold, all bicycles, have this step through design. It's very functional. 
you're able to, instead of swinging your leg over when you have groceries or a basket on the back, you just step right through. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys are like, well, it's a girl's bike. And I explain to them, try it for a week. And they come back and they say, oh, you know what? You're right. This does work better. So that's, and again, this is a proven design in other parts of the world mm -hmm. as far as um, how ease of use and utilitarian bicycle. So Terrific. Um, what's the expected retail price here in the States? Uh, we're at $2,299. Mm -hmm. And what do I get for that? It's, it's just an as-is bike. Correct. It, no build? It, it basically is, comes with the battery, um, the motor, just about everything you see right here. Terrific. So the, the rack on the back. Uh, you spoke earlier about uh, solar technology. What can you tell us about that solar panel that uh, we've seen? Sanyo uh, produces the most efficient solar panel in the world. In the lab, we're getting about 23% efficiency. What's about average efficiency? Um, 17 to 19. 17 to 19. Yes. So that's a pretty good jump. And in addition to that, our solar panels are smaller by about 25%. So we're actually producing more energy out of a smaller panel than anyone else on the on the market today. So how's that done? Um, we are. It's a bifacial technology, which means it's it picks up the energy from the sun on both sides. So it's translucent, so the sun goes through the panel, reflects off the ground, and then is absorbed on the bottom side of the panel. Again, no one else is doing anything like that. And that results in that increase of around 7 to 8 percent? Uh, actually, um, the standards are only measuring on one way. Ah. So we're actually producing much more energy much more because the we're the only ones we invented this technology and there are no standards to measure the output mm -hmm. um, for our technology. And what about availability of those panels? Um, they are readily available. In fact, we just opened a new um, plant in just outside of Portland. Um, so we are producing many, many more solar panels than we have in the past. Terrific. All right. Appreciate your time, David. Thanks All right. very much. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot.